Okay, so we're looking at a house here that's built on a slope. And it's a good example of some of the challenges you've got if you do decide to uh, buy some slopey land or you've got some slopey land and you decide to uh, build on it. The first thing you'll see here is a retaining wall. So it's a concrete block wall that's filled with, con with uh, concrete and reinforcing steel. It's quite an expensive thing, but it's necessary uh, for any wall over a metre high that has to be engineered. So what we've also got here is we've got the heights and the change in height. We're going from that corner where it's at ground level to four metres high over a small distance down here. Now that involves a few challenges. Structurally, you've got to get all your materials up that high. Um, and the steel posts have to be able to support that. But you also have to scaffold the building so you can put all your cladding, etc. on. Um, there's also the challenge of working on a slope to do all of this. Now, one other thing in this situation is bushfire, where you have to protect the underside of the building. So pipes, etc. often have to be enclosed. The underside of the building has to be made of fireproof material, which works in this instance, but if you look under here, there's no insulation. So if you want to get any sort of energy rating in your house, you then have to seal the underneath of these joists here and you have to place insulation in there as well. So on top of all that, while you're building, you've got to look after parking, you've got to look after drainage, uh, you've got to look after stopping materials washing off the site as you do the build. So the cladding, you, as, I, as I mentioned, you've got to get up there and put that on if you're rendering then that's a lot of material to get up there at height. So it needs scaffolding and it needs scaffolding on an uneven surface. So lots of challenges, that's just to name a few. Um, so if you can, get a flat block or venture block out so you can lay a slab or uh, do something on the flat surface.